All right, you guys, come on down on the ground. We are staying nice and low to the ground today, moving at a very controlled pace, but do not let the pace fool you. We are gonna get sweaty and shaky. Go ahead and grab one dumbbell in each hand. We're gonna start in my favorite workout position, laying down on your backs. You're gonna think about <sighs> pulling in your belly button, keeping your spine on the ground as flat as you can. Knees are bent, that'll help you keep your abs pulled in. The more your abs are pulled in, the heavier you can lift. We're gonna get started with one dumbbell in each hand. From this down position, palms are gonna face each other and then we're just gonna press up. As you press up, palms will face your knees. And we're gonna bring it on down. Go ahead and rest your elbows on the ground in between, totally okay. Again, we're trying to lift heavy today, so I want you to be able to lift as heavy as you can and taking little breaks in between. We're gonna to get to 10 on these chest presses. That one's two. And up is three. Really thinking about pushing those dumbbells up and out. There's four. Nice and controlled, abs are in tight the whole time. That one's five. And up, there's six. And press, there's seven, already starting to feel it. And up, there's eight, neck is nice and neutral, just looking at the ceiling. Press up, there's nine, and you guys, rest your elbows for a second. This one, boom is 10. Awesome job. Go ahead and put one of the dumbbells down next to you. We're going to grab one dumbbell in both hands like this by the horns for our next one. Next exercise is lat pullovers from this exact same position. We're going to press up, but it's never going to come down to our chest again. We're going to roll it over the top of our head. See how close to the ground you can get it? Doesn't matter to me if you get it all the way down to the ground. This is much more about keeping your lower, lower back flat on the ground, pulling in those abs. This is an ab exercise. It's also a big latissimus dorsi exercise, and that means that big, beautiful muscle in your back. You guys, this is how we tone up that bra strap area. Oh, and pull it on up. There's three. Now, I will tell you, I'm sure you know, I'm sure you've read before, that simply toning an area does not burn fat from that area. There's four, you know, that's five. But it will help us get nice and strong and toned. There's six, good job, really pulling in those abs over the top and back up. There's seven, you're doing such a good job. Thinking about moving with control. Elbows are soft but strong. There's eight. Making sure you're breathing. When we're picking up something real heavy like this, it's tough, you wanna hold your breath. There's nine, but breathing rhythmically, breathing as deeply as you can will actually help you lift heavier and stronger, and that one Boom, was 10. Go ahead and bend your elbows. I lied. We are bringing it back down to our chest, but that's just because we're done with that one. Go ahead and roll up onto your side. We're gonna do a side plank press up, but I will tell you that the plank is optional. I'm actually gonna be down in the modified version. I'm lifting heavy today, so I don't wanna do anything tougher than that, but if you'd like to come up in a side plank for these press ups, that's totally okay with me. I'm gonna have my hip down on the ground. So as we come up, palm faces out, as we come down, comes to your shoulder, and then palm faces your body. There's two of them done. So palm out and up and down and in. There's three. We're really getting the whole shoulder complex with this exercise, working just about every single muscle in your upper body right now. There's four. And up and press and down, there's five, great job. Up and press and down, there is six, excellent. Up and press, there's seven, 
Really pulling in those abs. Even from this side position, we've really got to think about what your abs are doing. There's eight. By pulling in your core stabilizers, you're keeping your spine nice and neutral. And that means that your upper body is doing the job. There's nine. This is our last one, rather than your lower back. The more, the more you can hold your spine in, the less your lower back is doing. That was 10. Great job. I'm going to scoot that out of the way just for a quick second while I flip around here. I don't want to kick it, you know, because that's the thing. It's never, well, no, that's not true. Sometimes you do get injured doing the actual exercise, but just as frequently as not, you get injured during a workout when you're putting a weight down or moving around or doing something else. Here we go on the other side. Pull it up to your shoulder and press it up and back down. First one's done. Shoulder and up shoulder and down there's two resting on the ground in between my goodness we need a rest in between this got heavy real fast there's three i just realized that i did not start with my non-dominant side which means that i'm not ending on a happy note like i usually like to there's four i usually like to get my less strong side done with first there's five and i did not do it this time so i'm kind of struggling over here there's six poor lefty you know i work him and work him but he is just not as strong as righty <laughs> there's seven and that's because you know in my day-to-day -day activities even though i do think about it my right arm it's just dominant there's eight it likes to do things and if i'm not truly focusing on it it'll do everything for me <laughs> there's nine and that means this one right here boom and down is 10. Great job. Go ahead and have both dumbbells again. We're going to come up on our hands and knees. Check this out. This is already our last exercise. From this hands and knees position, we're going to row it up and kick it back and back down. Row it up on the other side, kick it back and back down. First one's done. Row it up, kick it back and back down. Woo, feeling that in the triceps kick it back. There's two. Good job. Row, kick, and back. Row, kick, and back. There's three. And down, up, kick. There's four. Still pulling in that core. Thinking about your abs really throughout this exercise, throughout this workout and back there's five great job row kick and down up kick there's six stand nice and strong and down there's seven good job boom and down There's eight. I know I'm grunting. <laughs> you know, it's a funny thing. This upper body work gets real tough, real fast. This one's number nine though. And that means this one here on this side and down. And this one here on that side is 10. Awesome job. All right, you guys, here we go with round two. And there are only two rounds. Thank goodness for that. Let's go ahead and have our second round be our best round. Start on your backs and here we go with chest press ups. Boom, there's one. And up for two. There's three. And up, there's four. Feeling nice and shaky in my arms. I do love that for a nice quick workout. There's six. And seven. That one's eight. You're doing great. Here's nine. You're doing fine. And my friend, that's ten. The end of chest presses. Go ahead and put one of those dumbbells down because here we go again with those lat pullovers. Go ahead and have one hand on each side of the dumbbell up over your head and boom, down as close to the ground as you can get on this round two. I'm already feeling it. I might not get as low as I did on round one. There's two of them done. 
triceps are feeling super shaky abs are getting tough to pull in there's three you know when we do this upper body work you just don't think about how much we're working our abs there's four but you know what everything is core work if you do it properly there's five and up and over there's six feeling real good my upper back feels so strong there's six good job and up and over there's seven remember to breathe we're not holding our breath there's eight up and over there's nine and oh thank goodness this is the last one at ten elbows come down okay this time i am gonna think about it i'm gonna do those side plank press-ups on my non-dominant side first my arms are already feeling super duper shaky it did not take long in this quick workout so i just want to get this side over with up to the shoulder press it up and back down first one's done up and up and down there's two thinking about keeping that elbow soft but strong we're not locking it in the out position there's three and up when you lock your joints you're actually at risk of injuring your joints and we don't want to injure our joints while we're making our muscles strong there's five and up and down there's six making sure that the weight is not going over your head but rather over your shoulder there's seven almost there elbow stays close to your body for this whole lower part there is eight. Oh my goodness this is a struggle now but that was nine and up and up there's ten that is exactly why I want to do the non-dominant side first on this one I didn't want to finish like that that got so super duper shaky my little chicken wings are feeling it all right you guys here we go on the other side who doggies you know I am loving these hot 100 workouts it just doesn't take a long time to get a lot of work done there's two and up and up there's three we're going just 10 minutes more or less all summer long there's four i do hope you'll tag me at paula b fitness if you're playing along on instagram there's a whole contest and giveaway and all the details are below in the description up oh, there's six that was as long of a sentence as i could get out without grunting and up oh, there's seven aren't you glad there's not a third round oh my gosh can you imagine and up oh, there's eight who if there was a third round, I might have gone lighter weights. And up, uh, there's nine. But this has been such a good challenge with these heavy weights today. And up, that was ten. You guys, there is one exercise between us and being done. So let's get on our hands and knees and get it done. Here we go with a row and a kick and a back and a down. A row and kick and back and down. First one's done. Really think about keeping your elbows super duper close to your body. The wider your elbows swing, the more this is a biceps exercise, which it is, but this is meant to target the triceps, the back of your arms, that arm flag that none of us love to see in the mirror. There's three. Oh, but we can tighten and tone with these heavy weights. Boom and boom, there's four. Now, if you're looking to actually lose fat from all over your body, strength training workouts absolutely help. Absolutely. But you want to be part of a whole program. There's five. That includes cardio and weights and stretching and recovery. A little bit of everything. Oh, man. There's six. Your body loses fat in a lot of different ways. And simply doing weights for the body part that you don't love the best. There's seven really doesn't reduce fat nearly so much as it's just part of a great overall program speaking of great overall programs i've got one here for you probably on screen but definitely down in the description there's nine here we go up kick oh man and up kick and ten oh my goodness you guys that 
was awesome. He did such a great job today. Thank you so much for working out with me. I'll see you next time.